Hello there. I was just planning on contacting you. I didn't expect to see you here. Do you perhaps have a moment? I'm here to collect the final punch videotape that I reserved. I'm free right now. Wanna watch it together? View a movie together with you. It would be my pleasure. But prior, if I may, allow me to make adequate preparations, please. Sincerest apologies for the wait. Now then, let's get started. I do apologize. Time was short, so I had to purchase coffee from a nearby cafe, and I'm afraid the roast is rather bland. If I were brewing it, I would have chosen a far more aromatic bean. And what's more, the dessert is rather high in sugar, so I'm not sure it will be to your liking. You sure come prepared? You're too kind. You are an important partner, so it's my pleasure. I confess, I also chose the film Final Punch according to my own tastes. I hope it was satisfactory. It wasn't bad, but why did you pick this movie? Hmm. You may find my reasoning a little absurd. In the synopsis, you see, it mentions a young man equips himself with a robotic leg to enter boxing tournaments. Why does he choose boxing after installing a robotic leg? What is the logical connection between the two? I wanted to better understand, and therefore, I decided to carefully watch the whole movie. But despite my scrutiny, the film provided me with no such answer. That's an interesting reason. You might have thought of something even the director didn't consider. Thank you for watching the movie with me. You're welcome. Come back again soon. Of course. If possible, I hope you can recommend me some interesting movies sometime.
Um, there's something I need help with. If you're willing, that is. What's up? Rina assigned me some tasks so I can better pretend. Uh, I mean, become a qualified maid. She's given me this special maid voucher to give to someone, and I have to provide maid services for a specified time. Once complete, they'll give me a score, and so long as it's four stars or above, I pass! But... Uh, I'm so useless. I haven't even given out the voucher yet. Because you're too embarrassed to talk to strangers? Yes. Everyone just seems so, so busy. And I don't want to disturb anyone, so I just... It's okay. I'll help you. Really? <sighs> Thank you. Okay, it's a deal. From now on, consider yourself my master. Well, sounds all right to me. Great! It's an honor to please my master. A qualified maid should always keep an eye on her master's well-being. So... Are you feeling tired right now, master? Do you need me to carry you? Are you serious? It's not like I'm inside a bamboo right now. Don't worry. I may not look it, but I'm actually very strong. Carrying you should be no problem. It's not a question of strength. If anybody saw... Oh, I'm sorry! I didn't even think about that. Uh, I'm so useless. All I can do is disappoint you. So, so is there anything else my master wants? Anything at all? I'll try to meet your every need. I just want to hear some of the lines a maid says. Maid lines. Hmm. Uh, do you mean like... Welcome home, master. Yeah, that's a good one. Welcome home, master. Is that okay? Great. It's perfect. We've reached the final step, master. Please fill out the evaluation on the back of the maid voucher. It's okay. Please. Treat me as you feel I deserve. Whatever the outcome, I must accept it. Such top talent definitely deserves a five-star rating. <gasps> Thank you for blessing useless maid like me with a five-star rating. You're welcome, Corin. You're an excellent maid. I know I still have room for improvement, but... I always feel like I can be a little more confident in myself when I have you around. I wouldn't have been able to complete this task without you. Truly, I am extremely grateful.
Perfect timing! Quick, you can vouch for me, right? The cutting hairs are an honest, above-the-board business. We always pay our debts. I testify that Nicole is trustworthy. See? This person knows what I'm about. I'll be able to pay you back real soon. What, you're gonna vouch for Nicole? How do you two know each other? You're not partners in crime, are ya? <laughs> how, how dare you? Our partnership is absolutely ethically spotless. That's all there is to it. That sounds even more suspicious. Neither of you are going anywhere. If you can't pay me back the 200,000 Denny's today, I'll chop off one of your hands. Both of ya. I'm generous, though, so I'll still leave you one hand each to hold hands. You've got it all wrong. We don't really have that kind of relationship. Finally found you, Nicole of the Cunning Hairs. You almost had us. That etheric matter you used to cover your debt was only worth 300,000 denies. But you owe us 500,000. Oh, okay, take it easy. My clueless subordinates must have made a mistake. We just got in a batch of super high-grade etheric matter. But my crew must have just grabbed any old one off the shelf without checking the price. If you wait a sec, I'll ask them to send the remaining nine pieces over to you right now. Okay, I believe you... Uh, hang on. Something's fishy. <laughs> Are you serious? With everything you've tried to pull, we aren't accepting any collateral from you. It's cash only from now on. This doesn't look like the cheap stuff. Well, if that's the case, I guess we'll just have to take this. Uh, 200,000 Denny's base plus 100,000 interest. And carry the four plus nine divided by six. That's exactly 300,000, right? 100,000 interest? That's even worse than what I did. I've got contacts over at PopSec. They won't let you off the hook. All right, fine. I'll give you back 30,000. That's only 70,000 interest. 
I guess that makes me the kindest creditor in all of New Eridu, right? Hang on! Let's talk this out! Don't go yet! I'm begging you! You okay, Nicole? Um... Money isn't everything, you know? Your 10,000 denies as usual. Great work! <laughs> no problem. Come find me whenever you need a hand. Are those other debt collectors just actors you hired? Uh, don't say that. People will get the wrong idea. Kids on the street aren't supposed to have friends. But if I'm not mistaken, that piece of etheric material just then, it was the real deal. Sharp eyes. Could you tell just by looking? Or are you guessing? That piece was really worth over 300,000. Street kid rule number three. To catch a big fish, you gotta cast a long line. That piece was just the bait. The main score is the other nine pieces. They get greedy and think we're too dumb to figure out the true value, and undoubtedly try to buy up the rest real fast. Those are the cheap ones, of course. After the deal is done, if the other side wants to make trouble, public security will deal with them. Very clever. But what if they don't take the bait? Ha! <laughs> that guy's always been greedy. There's no way he wouldn't gamble on the score being worth the risk. But there's always the chance that someone doesn't take the bait when doing business. And in that case, we'll claw back what's ours with our awe-inspiring might. The Cunning Hairs are specialists in this business. That's our Nicole. Thinking about it, it's something only you could do. <laughs> you know me too well. Oh yeah, and thanks for your help just now. Looks like we make a pretty good team. Don't worry. I'm nothing if not loyal to my friends. If I hit the jackpot this time, dinner's on me.
I shall follow your order. Tech Officer 148, Zhu Yuan, ready. Some hard labor? 